We're inside a new home here on 19th Street in Newark South Ward, and it's going to a first time home buyer, and there's nothing that feels better than being in your own kitchen in a new home. We're very excited about the family that's gonna be moving in here and making it their home very soon. Derek Hunter is known as the unofficial mayor of his block. <laughs> He's watched his neighborhood change over the past 35 years. A retired Newark firefighter, his uncle passed away back in 2006, and he inherited this two-story home. I believe he paid like $3,000 for the home, and he gutted it himself and did all the work, and uh, today it's probably worth, uh, I don't know. Five, six hundred thousand dollars. Two doors down is a brand new refurbished home. He says an eyesore for years. Now look at it. The renovation all thanks to the home ownership conversion program. It's exciting. Greg Good, the chief real estate officer for a nonprofit called Invest Newark, helped make it happen with a partnership with JP Morgan Chase. This is beautiful. Yes. It's a three bedroom, fully remodished. We, we tried to keep a lot of the the historic characteristic of the house. This is a beautiful dining room. And look at that kitchen. It's just one of 25 eyesores now transforming into opportunities for home ownership for Section 8 holders to help these first time home buyers who are selected through a lottery. It's really exciting for our residents to be able to access houses that used to be blighted and now are renovated for a first time home buyer. Allow people who have a housing choice voucher formerly Section 8, uh, to flip that from covering a part of their rent to being covering part of a mortgage that makes them a homeowner. We actually have five available right now, and we also have some vacant property available. The secret to success, housing advocates say, is the continuous support after a family moves in. Once you have ownership of the home, you are the person you call when the heat is down, when you need to mow the lawn. The success story is getting someone in here, but the real the real story is contributing to the community. Back to Hunter, who says he's looking forward to meeting his new neighbors, creating new memories in a neighborhood he loves. Generational wealth, or generational whatever you want to call it, but yeah, everything is just passed down the lines. The lottery's going to open up in just a matter of weeks. We'll link you to that information at Monica Morales TV on all of our social media platforms.